Good afternoon guys, what is going on? Welcome back. Can you imagine again, it is raining again for the 17th day in a row, but today's a good day. Today's a day that we are finally starting to tear into the dually. Alrighty guys, we are back in the shop and I am pretty excited for this video. I'm pretty excited for this mod. Uh, you guys know that we don't have a whole lot of performance mod going on on the dually right now, but that is about to change. We've got a lot of parts, but this evening we are gonna be focusing on one part. So performance wise on this beast, all we really have thus far is our Banks Ram air intake. That is about it. Uh, the part that we're gonna be focusing on this fine rainy evening is this little guy stuck right behind the front bumper of your fourth gen. So on third gen Ram trucks, you know the intercooler kind of takes up from the top of the grill all the way to the bottom here on these fourth gen trucks. Your intercooler is actually stuffed right behind the front bumper. That's it, it kind of starts right here kind of goes down to here. You can kind of see it down here. And that's about it. Now it does have a little bit of depth to it, but for all intensive purposes, it's relatively on the smaller side. So we're gonna be replacing that just like anything that's kind of stock on your OEM truck. The parts on here are not really designed for performance. They get the job done, but are not the best. And you can kind of tell with the area that we're working with, there's some room for improvement. So we do have a solution. And that solution is sitting right in the corner over here. That's right, we have this beast of an intercooler. Look at how big this thing is. We got the biggest, baddest intercooler on the market for the dually from our guys at Banks Power. This thing is massive, and not only does it come with the intercooler, which is by far the biggest thing that I've ever seen for that compact size, also comes with new updated smooth high flow pipes for it because you guys know that I've shown you guys when we had the intake off, there is an intercooler pipe here that Dodge, Ram, Fiat, whatever you wanna call it, pretty much just smashed for fitment purposes. So uh, we're gonna be changing all of that, but I do wanna hold the phone. I need to hold the phone. We're gonna stop the video right here. We're gonna end it right here. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna end it, but I need to, there's, we need, we need to talk, boys. We need to talk. All right, you guys, so before we get to the installation of this intercooler, just wanna have a little quick conversation about the parts that I choose to kind of put on some of these trucks. Uh, keyword being in that sentence, the part where I said, I choose to put on. So um, really, Really, when it comes down to it, all I want, and I think all that you guys want as well, is the best parts for your truck, no matter what. I mean, these trucks aren't cheap. You love them. I love my trucks. All I really want to do is put on the best parts that are available uh, for whatever we're doing, whether it's turbos, intercoolers, you know, front covers, like the first gen, the front cover that we just put on. I think that Keating machine cover is the slickest thing ever. So uh, that's what I want to try and show you guys, help you guys out with. Um, you know, I do plenty of research on each each individual part that we put on these trucks and this intercooler and that intake are kind of no difference. Um, I have honestly zero, I mean zero, goose egg, nothing to gain from telling you guys that this intercooler is better than any other intercooler on there. But there's one thing that I do kind of believe, you know, and especially like with some of the fleece stuff and especially with some of the bank stuff, um, I believe that the guys at banks spend the most time, effort, and money testing all of their products against every single one of their competitors. Just like that video of Gale with all of the intake horns. They bought every single one of their competitors intake horns and put it through the ringer, through all of their tests, and not only said that they were the best, they proved why they were the best. Now, the video is not out yet for the intercooler doing the exact same thing, but they have done the exact same thing. I'll put a picture up on the screen that I don't think has been out yet. That's them testing their intercooler back to back to back in in an exact same scenario of everybody else's intercooler. So when I when I tell you guys that I think that this intake and that intercooler are the best on the market and that's the only reason why they're on this truck, you can believe me when I say that. Like I mentioned before, I'm just being straight up honest with you guys, completely real. I have nothing to gain. You know, I saw comments in the last video they must be paying me a whole lot of money, which is like it's it's actually kind of funny to me because 
that'd be cool. I wish they would, you know, and I wouldn't have to work my normal job, which, uh, but that's not the truth. Really, all I'm trying to do, and, and since I started this channel, is trying to help you guys, is just trying, you know, show you guys some cool stuff, show you guys what I think is the best and why I think it's the best, and really just show you guys companies that I know that are, you know, it's nothing but trying to produce the best and not only doing that, but, but really testing it and, and just backing it up you know, why they are the best. So um, that's it. Um, like I said in the intake video, you guys know that we run this Banks intake right here and this intercooler. Um, I went to them, I was like, hey, can we do anything for the guys that are watching that really, they want this stuff too? So Greg A10, and I'm gonna put all the links down in the description, I'm not saying you have to get this. There's other intercoolers out there. If you think that they're the best, and that's what that's what's great about this country, guys. Like seriously, uh, they're not. Uh, my opinion is not everybody else's opinion, and you can have your own opinion. That's that's great. That's fine. These are. It's starting to pour now. <laughs> If you guys don't think that this is the best intercooler, that's fine. You don't have to agree with me. I'm not even asking you to agree with me. I'm just showing you what, again, and I'm rambling probably at this point, on what I think is the best. So Greg A10 will get you 10% off of this inner or this intake for another couple days. They only let me run these for a month. Um, and the intercooler starting, I think today or tomorrow is gonna run like a month. You get 10% off of the intercooler with the piping kit, uh, the intake, and not only that, if you guys have a third gen, um, we, don't have a, we don't have a Banks intercooler on the third gen really, uh, but if they, they make intercoolers and stuff, so Greg A10 will get you 10% off of uh, quite a bit of stuff on their site. So go check them out. Go, go, at least go check it out. Don't, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But I'm telling you, this is what's on my trucks and that's for a specific reason. If that, if that intercooler was the second best, I'd be putting whatever the first best was on there. So anyway, let's get to installing this. The first things that we have to remove is this lower spoiler here. And then if you look inside here, there are these little air deflectors. These are little plastic things. So we gotta remove those as well. That is what we are gonna start working on and then move on. I lied. Two other quick side notes, very quick, uh, just so you guys know and you don't go get this kit. Uh, I had Mark paint the intercooler. Normally it does come raw. It says Banks right across that. Uh, I wanted to try and stick with the OEM theme uh, and try to keep it all black in there, kind of like how the factory was. So that was the piece that Mark painted that I mentioned to you guys. And I also had these pipes powder coated uh, the same black. We're gonna kinda go for a sleek, uh, kinda OEM uh, low gloss finish black. These normally come gray. So I just wanna let you guys know that uh, off the hand. If I, if I forget to mention that as well, uh, this is not how it's going to look. Uh, also, the discount code for you guys, which you guys should definitely go check out and use, I have nothing to do with that. That's not linked to me any way, shape, or form. Again, big old goose egg, that's all for you guys. So we got our lower bumper piece off here, our lower valence, valence, whatever the heck you want to call it. We got that off. It's held in by like a million and a half of these little plastic clips. And then we went ahead and took off our little air shield here, kind of right here. That piece is right here. That's pretty simple. So it's just a lot of clips and a couple 10 millimeter bolts. So what we're doing now, I'm gonna pop underneath here and show you is the actual support pieces that hold that intercooler in. So we're pretty much almost ready to take this out. Not a whole lot of room to video in there. I'm just gonna show you this couple quick things here. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, Snap-on Ryan. You're Ryan came to say hello. Hello. So, what we got going on underneath here is this is your intercooler pipe. I'm sorry, you probably can't see anything. Um, so, this is your intercooler pipe right here. You have to undo that clamp, which we've already undone. And then you have this little bracket here that kind of goes from here all the way up to here. And it's held in onto the frame by two bolts. You can see I've already taken one off. Other side is kind of similar. You have that little bracket that kind of comes down and holds the intercooler up and kind of goes up and attaches right up to the frame 
boy that's hard to see right up there and you can kind of see I've already taken one bolt out so we have loosely uh, undone the last couple bolts so we're gonna go ahead and support this up undo those last two bolts and pull this thing out I've undone that intercooler hose clamp as well right there ready to pull this thing out everything is definitely cram packed on this thing that is for sure Alrighty, finally got the factory intercooler out. Uh, I loosely undid these clips so we can take a look at the actual core size. This is gonna have to be kind of swapped over onto Mark's nicely painted Banks intercooler, but set that off to the side. But just take a look at this thing. A lot of stuff does have to be swapped over. Uh, the mounting points that mount to the frame are a little bit of a pain to get to, but that's all right, we got it out, not a big deal. Uh, a lot of this bracketry stuff does need to get swapped over, like this fan shroud, the mounting does all get swapped over onto the new intercooler. But just take a look, take a look at this intercooler versus this intercooler. I mean, you're talking about a whole, I mean, probably another, at least an inch core. It's like the guy she told you not to worry about, the guy you should worry about. I'm just saying, that's, it is, <laughs> it is massive. I'm trying not to laugh, it's massive. So the biggest thing is look at, look at these chintzy little inlets and outlets. Look at how far they get necked down to inside there it's pretty crazy like look at look at the outlets on the banks intercooler it is such a massive difference so the actual part like it the starting point stays the same on the cores they don't get mounted any different the extra depth actually or width or whatever you want to call it actually comes uh towards the front so we do need to trim a little bit of that shroud uh which we will do um but this thing it's not that bad, but this is way, 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 way better. So uh, actually, before we do anything else, we do need to disconnect the rest of the intercooler pipes before we go ahead and put in the new intercooler. So we're gonna disconnect those from the uh, intercooler connection right here. We've gotta disconnect that pipe right there. We got a new pipe for that. And then on this side, we need to disconnect. You can kind of see down there the compressor outlet right down there. We need to disconnect that. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect those, get out our factory intercooler pipes. That's the next step. Transfer all this stuff over there. I'm not sure how far we are actually going to get this evening, seeing that time is running a little bit short, but we're gonna continue on. So again, I do apologize, not a whole lot of room to stick the camera inside the engine bay, but we did go ahead. We have our intercooler piping completely removed. We have the passenger side here with the nice factory dent right in it. I mean, talk about talk about airflow restriction right there. That's, that, that's a good one right there. So we went ahead, went ahead and removed that because our new system comes with a new uh, passenger side pipe and driver side pipe. Went ahead and removed the other side can see a nice nice little bottleneck right there as well so went ahead and swapped all of our shrouding the top shroud the bottom shroud that's all moved over onto our new banks intercooler as well as the mounting stuff right here on the side so that's all swapped over the only thing left to do before we go ahead and put this new intercooler in the truck is the front shroud which is the one you can actually see from the front of the truck as you can see here let me show you you can see this usually slides underneath the intercooler and then attaches on these two bolts. You can kind of see right there, one up top, actually well, one down low, one up top. That's how it attaches. So on the new intercooler, which the front is thicker than the back, <laughs> that's a nice meme right there. Uh, you can see there's no, there's no holes in this new Banks intercooler. What they want you to do is they want you to Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I want you to trim an inch, measure from here, measure from down here where it stops an inch in, go ahead and trim that with a straight line right down here, an inch in, and then that's why they provide you with these new mounting holes. Out those in the way, 
you'll be able to uh, drill holes and attach this from the side. So that is the next and final step before this thing gets put back in the truck. Now they do say to get your new intercooler piping, which this is the new intercooler piping here. Nice, smooth, no kinks, no kinks. Uh, they do tell you to put that in the truck before you go ahead and put the new intercooler in. We are going to be changing a couple other things around around that whole area. So we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're actually going to put the intercooler up in there first. It is getting half past a freckle at this point. So I don't know what we're going to get done. I'm hoping to get this shroud trimmed and then maybe get it back up in there before... Allie comes and picks us up because we're going to leave this sit here overnight. Alrighty guys, we are all wrapped up after a couple choice words. A little bit of struggling to getting it up there in there by myself. That thing is quite a bit heavier, but we have the new Banks intercooler. You can actually still kind of see uh, from the side, you can still see it says Banks in there, but I uh, got the new intercooler in there. Everything fit actually really, really well. Got the uh, side plastic here trimmed back an inch like they said. Everything fits. Fits like OEM. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Usually when I get this aftermarket stuff, uh, I usually always give myself a little degree of uh, it's aftermarket. It's not going to be perfect, but thus far there's zero issues with how this thing fits. The OEM shrouds all fit perfectly. Everything is nice, neat, and tucked up there using all of the, uh, the OEM shrouds and stuff, and we are good to go. So again, uh, normally you would put your new intercooler pipes in first and have those all connected. Like I said, we're going to be doing something a little bit different with that in the upcoming videos. So we just have the cooler back in. I uh, got the lower uh, bumper piece here back on, and we are good to go. Just give you guys a little quick look underneath here. Uh, definitely everything is really tight, but it was tight with the OEM stuff as well. Everything fits well back here. Got the other shroud on the back all done. And we are buttoned up and good to go. Where's that other one? There it is, up there. There she is. Like I said, guys, if you are interested in this intercooler or the intake, I will have all of the links down below. Use the code GREGA10. Save yourself 10%. That's going to do it. Hit the like button before you leave, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. See you.